Hey everyone, I'm Dave. Today we're gonna to show you a fun way to cook chicken, barbecue beer can chicken. This will be a fun cook to show off to your friends. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is get our rub ready for the chicken here. We've got kosher salt, coarse pepper, mustard powder, got some granulated garlic, granulated onion, paprika, and a little tarragon. We're gonna mix this all up. It smells good, has a beautiful color to it. We're gonna get this on the chicken. You don't have to. I always put a little bit of oil on just to act as a binder for the rub on my chicken. Now we're gonna sprinkle the rub thoroughly over all the chicken. And then when I'm done with this, we're gonna put this in the fridge. We're gonna cover it and let it sit for two hours. To go along with our chicken, we're gonna do these beautiful carrots. Support your local farmers out there, everyone. You get beautiful carrots like this. We're gonna just slice these in half. Get some fun color with these carrots too. And simply all we're gonna do in our carrots, we're just gonna right now put in a little olive oil, a little coarse pepper, and a little salt. Just mix those up. We'll set these aside. We're also gonna make a honey glaze to go with the carrots here in a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna make the honey glaze for our carrots. Quite simply, we're just gonna take the butter, honey, brown sugar, and a pinch of salt. Get this all mixed up. Honey and brown sugar, can't go wrong. Now we'll just set this aside so this will be ready when we're done with everything, just to drizzle over our carrots. Okay, now the chicken sat for about two hours here. We're gonna put it on the beer can and then we're gonna add a little more rub and throw it on the grill, which is already heated up to temperature. First thing you wanna do is you wanna pour out half the can of the beer. <laughs> now that that's been successfully poured out, we'll place that in the middle here and put the chicken over top. We're gonna put it on the grill just like this. I'm gonna give a little more seasoning in spots that need it here. And this looks great. Close it down. We'll check on it in a little bit. Okay, now it's been about 40 minutes. We're gonna check on our chicken here. Oh, that smells amazing, looks great. We're gonna take some barbecue sauce and baste this. And we're also gonna add on our carrots. Again, support your local farmers. These carrots are beautiful color. All right, we'll close this back up, let it cook. The chicken is up to temperature. The legs and thighs are right at 165 here. We're gonna pull these off. Look at that bird, beautiful bird. We're gonna let this rest here for about 10 minutes. While that's resting, we're gonna finish the carrots off by putting this nice glaze that we made earlier. While that chicken is resting, we'll just let the carrots have the glaze cook into it a little bit here. And then we'll slice this up, plate it, and get ready to eat. Okay, this smells incredible. I've let it rest here for about 10 minutes. We're just gonna split this in half first with my Nice little cleaver. Oh my goodness, this is so juicy. Looks incredible, look at that chicken. Perfectly cooked. We'll slice this one off here. This leg will probably just come right off for us. And do the same with the wing. So juicy. And the chicken breasts, that looks so good. Let me get the vegetables off too. These are hot. Gonna place the breast on there with the wing, we'll put the leg on this side. These carrots look amazing too. Look at that, just unbelievable. The juiciness of this chicken. Oh my goodness. I need more of that chicken breast. The potatoes too with that honey glaze. Mmm, so good done here on the grill. Need to try the wing. Beer can chicken definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Again, I'm Dave. Thanks for watching Bus and Eats. Such a fun cook. Keep it here for some more great grilling and remember, spread love through barbecue.